thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, uh, water infrastructure, uh, a bill that we have just uh, moved positive uh, cloture vote 96 to 3. Water infrastructure is important to every state, as we see by this vote, every territory, every community, and every tribe in this country. These systems support America's economic growth and our competitiveness. They deliver drinking water and treat wastewater. They provide water for crops, cattle, and small businesses. They're used to ship American-made goods from the heartland to the coasts and around the world. They keep homes safe from dangerous floodwaters. They store water for times of drought. These systems are vital to our country. We must maintain, upgrade, and, where necessary, build them. During the State of the Union address this year, President Trump called on Congress to act on infrastructure. He said, we will build America's infrastructure, he said, with American heart, American hands, and American grit. Water infrastructure is a major part of the President's call. That's why I introduced America's Water Infrastructure Act, along with my fellow leaders of the Environment and Public Works Committee, Senators Carper, Inhofe, and Cardin. Several other committee members were also co-sponsors, including Senators Capito, Wicker, Van Hollen, Bozeman, Whitehouse, and Sullivan. Politico called America's Water Infrastructure Act the most significant infrastructure legislation to be taken up under the Trump administration so far. This legislation passed the Environment and Public Works Committee of the Senate unanimously, 21 to 0. Last month, the same leaders from our committee and the leadership of the committees in the House of Representatives reached a deal of historic conf on historic comprehensive water infrastructure legislation. America's Water Infrastructure Act now has broad, bicameral, and bipartisan support. Our bill will help grow the economy, will cut Washington red tape, and it will keep communities safe. Authorizing important water projects will create jobs. It will spur economic growth. The legislation will help deepen nationally significant ports and maintain the navigability of inland waterways. It's going to increase water storage in the West and build new flood management infrastructure. This bill will fix aging dams and irrigation systems across the country. Upgrading these systems will ensure that ranchers and farmers will get the water that they rely on. It will also help communities recover from devastating storms, like Hurricane Florence and the damage it left along the East Coast, especially in North and South Carolina. America's Water Infrastructure Act also cuts Washington red tape. As chairman of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, I've heard time and time again how state and local leaders know better than Washington which projects would have the most positive impact on their community. Our bill will give local experts an increased role in prioritizing which Army Corps projects get built. When a local partner takes over an Army Corps of Engineers flood control project, they will no longer need to worry about obtaining brand new permits. The Army Corps will simply transfer its authority to the local partner so new permits are no longer necessary. The government will also provide technical assistance to smaller communities to make it simpler for them to comply with environmental laws. Leveraging federal dollars is an important element of President Trump's infrastructure plan. We included language to help smaller rural communities leverage their resources so they can build water infrastructure projects. Federal leveraging programs, particularly the Water Infrastructure Flexibility Act, allow taxpayers to get the most bang for their buck. In the past, Mr. President, smaller rural communities have had trouble accessing these dollars. The language in our consensus bill will give these rural communities the chance to compete for these funds and the ability to participate in these successful programs. Cutting red tape and increasing access to these leveraging programs will help us get projects done faster, better, cheaper and smarter. That's just common sense. America's Water Infrastructure Act is also about safety. In recent years, we have seen the damage that floods and droughts can cause. We must maintain and improve our dams, our beachfronts, our levees, and our reservoirs. 
our bill takes steps to address the backlog of maintenance needs of these infrastructure systems. It also creates a permanent program to find solution for flood caused by ice jams. In the spring, and certainly in Wyoming, thawing ice and snow create jams in rivers and can cause them to overflow, overflow their banks. In my home state of Wyoming, ice jam floods have been devastating for the towns of Grable and Warland. America's Infrastructure Act authorizes important programs to find permanent ways to prevent these types of floods. This bill is about more than just flood prevention. It is the most significant drinking water legislation in decades. The bill authorizes funds to repair aging drinking water systems. For the first time since 1996, that's 22 years ago, Congress will be authorizing the drinking water state revolving funds. These funds give states certainty, certainty that they can meet their drinking water needs. Now that is a big deal, Mr. President. There's a line of people there's a line that people say in Wyoming. It's originally been attributed to Mark Twain. And the line is this, whiskey is for drinking, water is for fighting over. That's not the case with America's Water Infrastructure Act. Democrats and Republicans are working together in a bipartisan way.